Top surgery. Top surgery. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, um, not all trans people want to get top surgery, and some people can't afford to get top surgery. Uh, but we're all kind of at different stages of having had top surgery or going to have top surgery. Uh, so we thought that would be kind of interesting to share. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, hi, uh, my name's Dylan. Uh, I'm 25 and I'm about to have top surgery next week. So what have you been doing to prepare uh, for that? Um, well, um, I've had to arrange accommodation, um, arrange different people coming to sort of keep me company whilst, mm. like, because obviously people have working lives and stuff, I can't just say, excuse me, can you put your life on hold? I need you. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, you know, so I've got like a variety, of, a range of variety of different people to come and spend like the first fortnight with me, so I'm not entirely on my own. Um, I've been paid now, so my mission for this week is to go out and buy stuff that I need to like wet wipes and things like that so because obviously yeah. I've been told that like you can't get like incisions and bandages wet and things so yeah. I'm going to want to see want to stay hygienic so buy wet wipes roll on deodorant rather than spray and it's just the little things like that that you have to think about and go out and prepare for that's so right, you're sorry. not caught short basically yeah yeah sure because yeah. I remember you you had a button-up shirt with you as well and I completely yeah. forgotten that you know when I had my top surgery I was encouraged to wear a button-up shirt because obviously you don't want to have to pull something over you yeah. and just yeah. Yeah, little things to think about. Yeah. Uh, so Romario, how how long ago? My my surgery was in March, March 14. So it's been four four months and two weeks so far, and I'm just about putting my hands past my ears now. Like <laughs> just just about. But it's been an exciting journey. At first, emotionally, it was really tough to deal with because looking. I think for me, it was the first time really looking at my body and building that relationship with my body, mm. and. I had to build it with these bandages at first. So it wasn't like I, I could see my chest every day and build that bond with it. So it was that thing of like, what's my chest going to look like in the end? And I did worry about the scars. I did worry. I did, I did a lot of worry. But I think I kind of, I, I came to understand that what was happening was that my self-image in terms of my self-image in my head, it was a matter of addressing that because once I address that then it doesn't matter what I saw in the mirror I would be okay with it I'd be at peace with it and I think that was a, such an initial shock for me because I've never actually paused to look at myself yeah in, in, in an entirety yeah and I think that's been like the most unusual aspect of my journey with top surgery is who am I like beyond the surgeries you know, beyond having a chest or any any other form of surgery, what do I see myself looking like, or who do I who I am? So that yeah. was tough. That's really interesting. I guess we have to get we we do have to get creative with our bodies. You know, we have to find ways to yeah. inhabit our bodies and feel better about about the bodies that we're in. Yeah. I mean, for me, my top surgery was four years ago, just over four years ago. <laughs> and uh, I had it pretty quickly after I took part in my transsexual summer. Yeah. I'm really happy with the way that, that things are. And I've got really visible scars, actually, because after my top surgery, um, they just stretched quite a lot. And mm. I, I was one of those people, I was like, I'm going to make sure I'm really careful. I and know. Like, you know <laughs> and then it just, just life gets in the way. And then all of a sudden you wake up and you realize you've been like having your hands like up the whole night and stuff and it's just been stretching and like you know so there's there's kind of an elasticity that happens over like after your top surgery and like yeah the, the year after your top surgery it's like super important to just really take it easy yeah. um but yeah I, I mean god every single day that i can just put on a t-shirt every day i wake up and put on a shirt i feel so grateful even now um you know, know. for like you just I jumped just, in the sea yesterday like yeah just in underpants and it was just it was such a surreal moment because I was like, shit, like I'm not wearing anything. Yeah. Like I could just yeah. dive in and, yeah. and then take the, that um, for granted. Yeah. The slightly other the other end of the spectrum, we went in together, didn't we? Yeah. And I was I was about to go in and I was like, I had to stop myself. I was like, no, I'm in a binder. If I get this like soaking wet, I'm never gonna get it off. You said you got up to yeah, your waist. Yeah, I got up to my waist yeah. and then I was like, right, I've got to stop now and it was yeah, I really wanted to go in but this time next year, we'll we'll all be going in together. So Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's right, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was interesting, yeah. like because you know what you were saying I could relate to that in terms of like prepping yeah and trying to be so careful and I ended up getting still a little bit of stretching and, it, and I think that's what annoyed me the fact that I I was so meticulous about it so I think the message you know for anyone like, especially you going to surgery yeah. is just to relax relax just relax about it and yeah. and, and and just 
take it easy and just enjoy the journey to be honest yeah no point getting hung up over it is it what exactly the four really, years on no no point <laughs> no at point. all absolutely no point <laughs> you know and for me i mean the thing stopping me from taking my shirt off really is not my scars it's the fact that i haven't worked out as much as i wanted to oh, so right, yeah. you know i'm not not hugely worried about scars but i did get a tattoo recently to kind of start the process of covering those up so um <laughs> even four years on like how did it feel having your scars tattooed like even this this far on you know it right. actually um really hurt to have my scars tattooed and it's because um um, last year I did this process called dry tattooing where um, they somebody takes a needle and like instead of there being ink in the needle it's just a needle that goes stab 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 yeah. stab all over your scar and what that did was help me to get the sensation back okay. um, and also it flattened the scar quite a lot so when wow. I put my hand over it, I can't really feel any lumps whereas before I could that's worth knowing about like, definitely dry, dry tattooing dry yeah. tattooing and it brings it makes about. it look awful to begin with because as you can imagine the blood rushes to the area yeah. and then it helps with the healing process again it's good to know yeah for sure yeah. Um, but it, because of that process, it was super painful and it wouldn't yeah. have been otherwise. So. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> oh, well. You wouldn't have felt anything, it would have been numb. Yeah, numb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, so I mean, it's changed my life to have top surgery and I'm going to enjoy that for the rest of my life. Um, Even wearing this jumper, like. Yeah, right? I used to have to wear like zip stuff to, to create an illusion and now it's just like I, I'm just only wearing a jumper, like nothing but a jumper and it's just like so surreal. It's such a treat. And I walk with my chest, my shoulders back, head yeah. high. Yeah. It just feels so you much yeah. better, confident. Yeah, and you were talking about white shirts, weren't, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How excited yeah, yeah, yeah. you were. Worst, where just, I just, my, my first aim, like as soon as my bandages come up and I'm not wearing a post up binder, one of the first things I'm going to do is wear a nice white shirt because yeah. all white shirts have got that, like, they're slightly translucent, aren't they? Yeah. So you can see through them slightly. So at the moment, I'm wearing my binder. And then a vest and then a white shirt. Oh my God. That's so awful. I just can't wait to just put on a white shirt and not have to wear anything underneath it. That's that's the first one of the first things I'm gonna do. Cool. Yes, definitely. Um, for me, GC2B seems to be a, to be the best these days. Like, but people kind of divide yeah. between Underworks and GC2B. Yeah. Um, that that kind of happened after I had my top surgery. So I had an Underworks binder. Yeah. Um, and maybe one from like T Kingdom at some point as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, I never yeah. bind because it made me more dysphoric. Right. So I just I I felt, and I think that's why it was more emotional for me after surgery because I developed this disconnect with my body. So I would I wouldn't bind, but it wouldn't bother me because I didn't pay attention to it. So as soon as I had surgery, it's like, ah, oh, now I'm paying attention to it. So I, I find very few people who never bind, actually. So That's really interesting, because I, I mean, it's it's like a catch-22 thing with binding, isn't it? Because yeah. it's like, um, for me to, to not bind felt awful, but then to bind feels awful as well. So yeah. you're stuck. Um, we were discussing this yesterday, actually. I said, I, I completely understand where he's coming from in that it makes you more dysphoric, but for me, the dysphoric part is putting it on and taking it off. Mm. Once it's on and the t-shirt's on, you can kind of forget about it and like, right, I'm flat chested now, let's go through the day. And then you have the, the horrible dysphoric moment at the end of the day where mm. you have to take it off. Yeah. So yeah, it is a bit of a catch-22. It yeah. is, yeah. I just never bothered, I was like... No. I kind of yeah. feel the same about packing as well, but that's a whole other That's a film, whole other, uh, yeah. Whole other. <laughs> it's important for us to be in touch with the physical community mm -hmm. because sometimes being in, involved in an online community while it is helpful sometimes you sometimes you get to the darker sides of the community and you can actually get more stressed out more depressed yeah. and we found actually by being a part of Transpired this, uh, this past couple of weekend it was great to meet real people yeah. who've gone through real experiences yeah. and have really good like hearts and just yeah just it's really um good. this whole weekend has just touched my heart generally yeah the whole weekend like i came in like hardly knowing anyone and i've like you know the last day i'm, I'm hugging like more than 10 people yeah. like can't wait to see them again it's genuine yeah. as well. and it wasn't yeah. just really about genuine. it wasn't just about issues which yeah. i think what I, what i loved about it it was a genuine celebration yeah no yeah. drama no yeah. rubbish but it was just just about yeah really really celebrating who we are and like and it was it was tangible that feeling like you know yeah. through all the uh, the different events from the march to the park to all the other events awesome. yeah, yeah you could just feel like how excited people were to be there and that was that was super nice yeah. but anyway we'll save this conversation for the um the other video that yeah. we're going to do because i'm not going to be in that video okay. so i'm going to film you two talking about trans uh, okay so, that's yeah. cool so we'll wrap up on this one that's it just crop yourself it. up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah thanks guys for watching and if you want to tell us about your binding experiences um or if you can have top surgery and any tips that you have then leave it in the comments below but yeah thanks a lot and good luck with your surgery. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Thanks. Who are you going to see? Miles Berry in London. There we go. Yeah, cool. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Bye. Cheers.